For some reason, I always you get both. Even, even though Loveridge is one of my favorite towns, and especially since Jay Pass is where my secret base is in the Mega Ruby and Apple's Fab Five, I probably should know this. They always seem to get Loveridge yeah. and um, Femador mixed up. And Founder. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, to love... me, I... Whoa. What? Uh, no, no, no. I was just going to go on a rant about secret bases, but continue on. No, you go on. Oh, no, I was going to say I love the secret bases. My Mine in Omega Ruby and Half Sapphire is in the uh, the area where Fort uh, that comes up. The, it's on like this little bike passage where Fort that comes up to Fort Tree City, um, route, or, uh, Fort, Fort Tree Town. Route one one nineteen. Since we have yeah, a map, of, have since we the, have a map of Hoenn yeah. right in front of us, <laughs> it's all clouded out, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I knew that Route one nineteen. Okay, so anyways, so you need to like basically use the Arco bike to get to it. I just love that place because. Uh, one of its layout, and two, just just due to the fact of like how secure it is. I like a secret base that makes me like feel like you know it, you have to like go through a significant way of um, you can't just like walk up to it. Yeah, it needs well, specialty to it. Well, I'm the mountain man, so I had to choose the highest point I could get. I would have chosen yeah. mountain. I would have, in tr- oh, I'm true, chosen Meteor Falls if it would have put a secret base somewhere in there. Because yeah. Meteor Falls is amazing. But yeah, Dragon- Meteor Falls, they, they really did, they really outdid themselves when they uh, remade Meteor Falls. Um, literally, it's beautiful. I made my secret base in Jagged Pass, went through and did the, um, started getting to Meteor Falls, and I got to Meteor Falls and just looked at it, and it's just the. Uh, Wow. I love you. <laughs> Just the, wow, you guys outdid yourself. Yeah. Please keep it up. I honestly, I don't know what to think when they make the newest game, which will probably be announced in the next E3, I'm thinking, but probably not. Uh, you know what, let's make that even 50 but me is I. What I'm really hoping for is since they're branching out and doing a lot of other places, is um is um trying to do something like Great Britain or something, doing the um United Kingdom oh. as the next region, do another major that would, league, do another major water yeah, region, since I love Hoenn. Yes, that that would be interesting. I love Hoenn, but probably not for the reason most people think. It's because it was my first game. But I do admit that I did fall in love with all the cool little things you did when I was a kid. Like, my, one of my favorite things to do was because the, uh, the secret bases were actually just randomized in that one. But I just, I love trying to figure out which ones had all the cool stuff in it. But oddly enough, I got really lucky. Uh, the first tree that you get, like, when you get the TM for secret power, uh, mine was... Like, that tree, it was the amazing one where, like, it had two rooms, a hallway and stuff. So I got really lucky in that game, and I I wish that they had something more close to that in, you know, when they roofing half step far. Sadly, they didn't, but that was just nostalgia reasons, so I can't really complain. But I like what they did with it. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Can't wait for Gen 4 remake so we can do the underground. That is the oh only. God, th- that's the major thing I think of in Gen Four was the how many hours I spent into the underground, because I literally my underground in yeah. Gen, my copy of Gen Four since I had no friends was every tile had a um a ninety nine prism pearl some um pri- um shard or something somewhere there it was a, maxed out and every wall had a fossil thing around it. It's like then it was just amazing. Yeah, I remember I did a lot of digging there once I beat, beat the game. I just kind of, like, went around, dug, dug, dug. I found some old amber one time. It was fun. And since Durr had the game, you know, we, we, we played around in, in the underground bases. I, I really do – I can't wait to see what they do with that. They probably won't because, you know, Nintendo's kind of more about their connectivity togetherness than online, but it would be nice to see an entire online, like, cafe something like, thing. <laughs> something like the um, 
Pokemon Parade that was in Platinum. Yeah, yeah, the per- Pokemon Parade. That was fun. I, I did enjoy that. Mm. I have basically just been deploying all my units in my water route because I want to keep that secure when I come up across it. I just want them to, because I'm guessing they'll come across the water route and they'll they'll probably want to try to grab it. But I just want to make sure I have so many units that they're, they'll just be tempted to not do that. <laughs> to uh, get, ooh, Actually, I uh, think it's based wow. on how many things are actually in that route. Because, well, I mean, yeah, it's based on how many places are in this those routes. How many it gives you. Cause route, what, it's um, kind of funny. I, uh... Hmm? Well, no, because I, I I looked right here, and the um, Evergrande city is worth two armies per turn. <laughs> yeah, and I know it's probably just because of the area, but I'm thinking to myself, you know, the Pokemon League <laughs> should be worth a little more. The city <laughs> should probably be worth a little more instead of two, or, uh, most of them being only two. <laughs> but next turn, I'll have all of uh, South. Southeast. Ooh, wow, you're getting and more armies. Hey, be happy. You're getting more armies than me per turn. Yeah. And right now I have 79 people going down this water route. I pick a size. Who's, using, who's using this card? Um, I think you mm. should. You you're, sure? Um, you're probably going to meet up with them a lot quicker than me. Okay. So basically, I'm just deploying everything down my water route. 141 guys is about to take down a two-army sky pillar. Overkill much? <laughs> nah. No, because like literally, I was I was um, establishing between like the water route and my way to Evergrande. But now, since I have under Evergrande, I'm just moving all my dead units that are in the middle of my field just to uh, one one area so that they can all meet up. Yeah. Uh, soon I'll be conquering Mount Pier. We'll have the spiritual sp- place of Hoenn. We'll have both spi- <laughs> um, spiritual places of Hoenn, because I guess Cave of Origin is a spiritual place. <laughs> yeah, well, I do have... Well, no, because we'll also be getting Skype. Skype. Oh, right. <laughs> we... We've conquered Cohen's religion. I have the Cave of Origin. I also... You have the Sky yeah. Pillar and the Cave of Origin. So you have the religions of all of the legendary be- um of Rayquaza and Beast, um, uh... I... creatures. I think that one's the legendary creatures. Yeah. Creatures. And I'll have all the um the, uh, re- the legendary Pokemon that created the land and the sea. And yeah. I'll have the stuff of. Wait, I'll be having the Savari Zone on Mount Pier, so I'll have all the dead Pokemon. <laughs> no, 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 this is good. We now have an unlimited supply of Pokemon in the Safari Zone. And we have a lot of ghost Pokemon. Fuck your psychic. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I just realized? What? In the- that um, Warlord Pokemon game, Mewtwo was in it. Yeah. Mewtwo is in the Warlord Pokemon game. That shouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Don't worry. We have. It's like, we'll... wait, this is ancient Japan we're talking here. The thing is, it's ancient Japan. Eh. No, no, because. No, He's a quote, Mewtwo yeah. Was... <laughs> the game is set in ancient Japan. Mewtwo was made in scientist. Dumb. Um, wormhole. So, what? Uh, Doctor... Are we. Are we... To are, believe are, that my... Mewtwo traveled through time with Celebi? <laughs> no, he traveled through time with the Doctor, because the Doctor makes everything better. <laughs> 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 don't think Celebi would let Mewtwo close to him. <laughs> or, whatever. They don't have genders. No, 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 no. You see, Celebi became friends with the Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he completely got off tangent all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We were having such philosophical debates about war. <laughs> about war. 
<laughs> Don't you love our science? Our, um, st- um, yeah, our geostrophical <laughs> debates? 